In the late 1960s, the look of the NFL was changing. Amidst the standard crew cuts and knit slacks came a wave of long hair, mustaches, and clothes that looked like they came straight from a hippie commune. As you might expect, this movement it didn't go over too well with some coaches and owners. But we thought that this new breed of NFL player would be a good subject for a film. We wanted to show that underneath all the hair and clothes, these long hairs could really play. We used settings and music that had never been seen before in a sports film. And the result was a true time capsule of the era. And by the way, in this film, I took after Alfred Hitchcock and I gave myself a cameo. See if you can spot me and then play it again with a commentary to see if you were right. In professional football, while the game has rarely changed, the faces have. A new breed of athlete has arrived with a new look, a new lifestyle, but the same old commitment and zest for the sport. They have added dash and flash and a touch of glamour to America's favorite pastime. Such a man as Dickie Post, a running back for the San Diego Chargers, who blends a love for the sporting life with a share of the good life as an owner of a boutique that caters to California's sunshine people. Another of the new players is Tim Rosovich, who plays linebacker for the Philadelphia Eagles and lives on the beach in Southern California. Rosovich's looks are the looks of today, and he will probably be the first football hero of the Aquarius generation. I consider myself a hippie in all the good ways. I dress in different clothes and I uh, grow my hair along because I have this feeling of independence and I think the youth of today can look at me and associate with me more than the average football player. They can see that a person with long hair doesn't have to be associated with something bad. I think they can associate with me more than they can with uh, a football player that has a crew cut. <laughs> Dickie Post and Tim Rosovich, two men for today and tomorrow. Two free spirits floating on the winds of change, breathing fresh life into a grand old game. I like to be by myself and uh, think about things that uh, are troubling me or think about football. I like to go down to the, uh, to the beach, walk along the ocean. It's, uh, it's a great place to be with people and enjoy yourself or to be alone and, and think about things that are happening. The ocean is uh, so natural and such a powerful thing that it it makes your troubles seem so small and so much easier to solve. It's like taking vitamins. It makes you, it makes you feel better and stronger. It makes your blood run thicker. More than a place for reflection, the beach showcases Rosovich's unique lifestyle. Come here. Come over here. Lay down. Play dead there. Play dead. Roll over there. Get out of here. Get out. No. <laughs> Tricks, Jamie. <laughs> Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear, come here. Pooh Bear. Play dead here, Pooh Bear. Okay. Now stay like that. We're bad, but the only consolation is they're worse than we are. Oh, no. They brought the big man up. Be ready. <laughs> Run, Steve! Uh oh. Ah! Oh! Oh, Steve! Oh, 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 o
more for his personality than his football ability, Rosevich's talents finally came under the harsh scrutiny of Monday night television. And football's sternest critics proclaimed him an emerging star. While Rosevich is a pursuer, Dicky Post is the pursued, and he knows well the ways of the hunters. Sometimes the defensive people do try to intimidate me or, or pick on me or, well, they may say something like, well, how'd you like that for a hit or a stick? You come back this way and you're gonna get more, boy. Or you come back this way and you're gonna get twice that bad. Don't you be coming around here now. Don't you be running around this end. Dickie Post has often felt the body-beating effects of the hunt. It has sent him to the sidelines and plunged him even deeper into the partnership and planning of his boutique. What you got there, boy? New sun visor for the season. How do you wear them? You wear them forward or backwards, or either what do you way, do? Either way. Something like that, maybe? Turn it around. Turn, you want me to turn it around? Yeah. Be different? Out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. There it is on me. These hippies <laughs> sit around their little cabins and make these things? Uh, no, they sit out on the beach and get a suntan, and they do the hand, hand work there. Look like an old Indian. No Indian head. Just straight from the reservation, Oklahoma. You know, I, a guy came in about an hour ago and had on Stars and Stripes belt and really looked nice. Forget him. No, can't do that. I like that belt too much. I want it. She's going to do a little different stitchery type work uh, mm -hmm. down the front, down the back, and with the collar. Well, first of all, on, on this shirt in particular, I just, I dug it when we got it, what, six months ago, whatever it was, a year ago. And uh, it's been a great seller for us, I think. Cool. I tell you, you know, people, people just love wearing that type of thing. It's just a good, funky look. It's just a neat, funky shirt, and it's comfortable to wear. You know, people just enjoy it because that's what they do when they, Right on the beach or go to a, you know, a beach party or something like that. I like it personally, and you know how that is, you know, sometimes you, <laughs> sometimes I like it, but sometimes that Like Tim Rosovich, Dickie Post finds retreat from football and business with the sun and the sea. It's just a fun, very, very fun, relaxing time out on the water. There are no motors, there are no telephones, there are no business people to hassle you. You just can kind of get out there and, and uh, get your thoughts together if that's what you have to do, or just simply relax. This is working a lot better than it usually does. Come on. OK, now guide us out there. Guide us on out. That a boy? He turned into a sailor. <laughs> You're doing a good job. You know, I think the boat's sinking. <laughs> You've got to. <laughs> Look at this. We're losing our fence. <laughs> I can't find anything more satisfying well, no, to me there, for six months a year than playing football. For six months of the year, Dickie Post is the dance master of the pros. He comes at a defense shrouded by his blockers, with all his power locked in his legs. Legs that are short, snake-dancing stumps. Loose and limber legs, built on four-speed swivels that slipstream him past the howl and havoc of the hunters. Post is past master at running into the hurricane's eye and emerging untouched at touchdown's door. Post never challenges a defense. His reputation was gained by avoiding, not relishing contact. He weaves and bobs, jabs and feints, darts and double clutches, and makes the pursuers wobble from fatigue. 190 pounds of silly putty oozing in all directions at once.
coast is not a pattern runner following a carefully charted course. His runs are a creative mix, a witch's brew that mystify and spellbind tacklers. Red Grains to Jimmy Brown to Gail Sears, the truly great runners, make the game glow on an autumn afternoon. They make the field seem shorter and the sport simpler than it really is. Now Dickie Post is one with them. A new day dawns and the search for new adventures beckon Dickie Post. Each new bend in the road offers the chance to test his rich imagination. Unfulfilled dreams are the spur that triggers this dreamer's pistol. from the stage of fantasy to the 100-yard stage of reality. Success in both is measured by the same standards, and Dickey Post is the longest-running show in football. While success has deeply touched Dickie Post, it has not even brushed Tim Rosovich. Unaffected by fame, he makes driftwood candles on the beach, where his thoughts all relate to the game he loves. My favorite movie was Patton. I think if he would have been a football coach, he would have been the greatest coach in history. My favorite book is the Guinness Book of World Records. It has everything that's, that they have on record in the world as being the top, the best. I'm interested in this because I want to be the top middle linebacker in football in history. Being the best takes time. In Baltimore, it only took a piece of paper to douse Rosovich's fire. Other moments were not so funny. A freshly minted middle linebacker is fair game in the pros. Mistakes, lose games, deflate the spirit, cloud the future, and cancel self-confidence. I knew that uh, being at a new position, that mistakes uh, were going to happen. It was understandable that I would make a mistake but making the same mistake twice is unforgivable. It's actually embarrassing to me. Learning on a loser either toughens you or makes you drop out. It turned Rosovich from an uncertain unknown into a confident craftsman. When I assume my position, all that's going through my mind at the time is that I have to get to the ball carrier. It's just that thought going through my mind a thousand times a second. 
I'm like a, a cobra. I try to get into the hole and strike at the person. Rather than being a gorilla, I think I'm a snake. Most people only see the serious side of Tim Rosevich. Hidden behind his solemn public mask is a clown's face. Some people probably do look on me as a clown, and that's not bad because uh, I consider clowns good. They make people laugh, they make people happy. I'm making myself happy, and if I make other people happy, then that's great. teammate share of the memories of Tim Rosevich. I remember one summer at training camp when Tim caught a tiny little bird outside of the cafeteria. And right before we all sat down to have lunch, he stuck the bird in his mouth. And at the beginning of the meal, somebody asked him a question. And when he opened his mouth to answer it, the bird flew out. <laughs> Tim Rosevich, a modern middle linebacker on the rise. A man who makes people laugh. A thin and gentle person who makes candles on the beach. I'm not gonna be embarrassed today, man. We can't be embarrassed, let's go. Let's get a block now. It's important, we gotta get it back out of here. We gotta get it out of here. Offense gotta have a touchdown. Gotta get it out now. Get a block, get two blocks. It is the last game of the season for the Eagles, a team going nowhere. For many, a meaningless game, but not to Tim Rosevich. Okay, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. Sticky Sid, break. Hey, I think they heard me. I think they heard me, man. I think, do they think they hear me? Don't make no difference. Does it make any difference? No, we just gonna rush. Okay. Well, do what you want. I mean, I call it. I don't know if they heard me or not, but I think they might have. Jed! Go 15! Shut! What is this, man? I do not believe it! They shouldn't have got that, man. Getting blocked! Oh, man, that's too much! It's my fault. I'm getting blocked, man. 43 over, yeah, big save, right? Go! 60 rip! Slim left! Jet! Shut! Kind of try it! <laughs> My fault. Slim left! Pig 44! I'm at it! Shut! Put it! Swing, he should be out of the game. Yeah, he hit you. He hit me. Can you guys see that from way over here? Oh, shut up, man. How about that guy taking a swing, man? I can't believe that, dude. I'd fight him, man, but I want to play in the second half. Yeah, maybe, maybe the end of the game. It's not it's bad, bad football. You okay, man? What you got? Uh, no, I can't have any injuries, man. Can't have any injuries. I'm killing us, man. I'm killing us. Oh, I'm killing us, old man. Oh, I'm killing us. Got to start hitting, man. We got to finish up good. I, I haven't been hitting at all. I'm trying, but I, I just not getting to the ball, man. I don't know what it is, you know? I'm getting blocked too much. I don't know. Can't let it. 
Got a goal. We got to have this touchdown. That's important. This is more important. No, I'm not doing bad, but I, I'm not doing. I'm not doing as good as I want to, man. I haven't made a tackle yet today. I haven't made a tackle yet. Oh, uh, oh, I'm embarrassed about those two runs, man. How they do that to us? They don't do that to you, man. That's embarrassing. We got to come out in the second half and embarrass them, man. We've got to make up for that. That's bad. That's. That's not, that's not good football. What is that? He knocked him down? He tripped him? They didn't give him a first down? Oh, they're blind. They don't see it, man. They're blind. We can make it now. We got it. We got it. OK, turn on. Give him a move. OK, turn up. Turn up. Ah, uh, let's get a good lead so we can just run over these guys, man. Run over them. Touchdown! Hold on, hold on. Good effort, man. I love you, man. Good effort. That's dynamite. I love that. Good guts, man. That's dynamite. It's a big break now. We got to take advantage of it. Wham, wide blow, right? It's a big series now. Big series. We got to have it. We got to get the ball now. Let's go, Edo. Let's get some hits. That's what find your chips, fat man. Mel, get some hits. Get a fumble. Ernie, right, split right. Isaac Key, Bray. this touchdown. We've got to have it, Norm. Got to have it! It's a big play offense! Come on now! we got to have it right now. We can't wait till the end of the game now. Take advantage of it now! Let's go! Take it in, man. Get up, get up, get up, get up! Get up, get up! Hold on! Good effort! Good effort! Okay, take it in, Larry! Squeeze that ball, Larry. Get a block! Get a block! Cut in! Go out! Go out! Put your head down! Turn it up! Go! Larry, that's the way to run, Larry! He's doing a nice job, isn't he? Nice job. Guy wants to play, man. Guy wants to play. That's good. I'd like to see that, man. I'd like to see that. That's nice. That's dynamite. The offense did a dynamite job today, man. It's a start. This is a start for next year, man. This guy, we're on our way, man. We are on our way now. When you don't hit, when you don't hit anybody really hard, you really don't feel like you play the game. Oh, I, I got some good hits. I broke my neck and bent my face mask, but... Uh... Well, you're supposed to punish the people, though. <laughs> oh, my, I tore my neck up pretty bad. It's all right. Last game, last no, game. No, I'm not worried about it. Get the Southern California heel there right up. Oh, I know that, but I, uh... want to use it to club some people with my head, man. Boy, this game is a long, long game, man. You gotta hold them. This is big. We gotta have it. No field goal. No, let's get a touchdown! Touchdown now! All right! All right! The last game ends in victory. For Tim Rosovich, it's the end of a bittersweet season. He has learned while the team has lost. 
and he will go home with mixed emotions. He will go back to the beach and dream of a brighter future and higher glories. Many times when I'm walking alone on the beach, I think that I'd like to be in the Super Bowl and be playing middle linebacker and make every tackle in the game. But my final tackle would be a game-saving tackle, and making it, I would die and go to heaven and live in happiness for eternity. This NFL Films production has been brought to you by NFL Network. Watch the National Football League 24 hours a day on NFL Network.